What is up guys, Kelly Gibbon today back with another episode of Fallout 4 Mods and today we are going to be looking at something, I'm, I'm not too sure about this if I'm honest, I kind of downloaded it with the ambition of doing so many things, I wanted to actually do a little skit with it, but actually looking at the armor, it does look kind of uh, steampunkish. It is the Batman armor within Fallout 4. I was very, I'm as hesitant as you are. If you've seen the thumbnail as well, uh, that took a little bit of time, but it is freaking awesome, I'm not gonna lie, and that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to go for. But uh, yeah, without further ado guys, if you want it, it is in the description below as always. I'm not too sure if this is on consoles just yet. I am hoping that all of them sort of do sort of port over there, which would be freaking damn sick. So, once you've downloaded the mod and all is good, you want to come over to the chem station. Go all the way down to the bottom. That should be in this section here. And it, for me, it is the top two here. It's the Batman armor and the Batman helmet, which is pretty damn cool. So as I said before, it's kind of steampunkish. I'm not going to lie, the armor itself is pretty cool. The helmet is definitely steampunk here, so let's pump this on straight now. Let's have a quick look at the gloves as well. Black, all black, obviously. But here we go. Here is the futuristic steampunk Batman. What the hell? I understand the logo, the texture on that is beautiful. The helmet, though, what the fuck? It kind of looks like the Batman vs. Superman edition one, if I'm perfectly honest. When he sort of gets his um, fully decked out kryptonite suit. But, uh... Yeah, this is pretty much it, I'm not going to lie. It does look pretty cool. I'm not too sure what you do with this as well. There is actually a Joker outfit or a Joker save within there. So if you wanted to do sort of like a mini skit or skits in general, this uh, this armor would be pretty damn cool. I'm actually going to go to TFC1. And uh, I'm actually going to have a better look at this all as well because I haven't actually looked at it entirely throughout. So basically it's a glorified drench coat with a... And that is a beautiful symbol, come on now. Uh, well played on that symbol. The lighting and the detail and the textures all roll in together beautifully on that one. Boots, I'm a little bit upset about. I don't like it when people take the time to do everything else apart from like boots and gloves. It really winds me up. Like there was a Punisher sort of showcase we done before, uh, sort of the whole outfit, and everything was on point apart from the boots. The boots literally just looked like pl black play doh, which uh, I wasn't particularly happy about, but oh well, that's fine. The gloves. A little bit weird. This looks like a remastered of a previous vanilla thing as well, so that's okay. I'm not too butthurt about that. The helmet, though, that is looking pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie. It, again, it is very steampunk throughout this whole entire thing. So, if you want a steampunk Batman run around in the Commonwealth, this is probably gonna be the mod as well. I'm pretty sure other people are gonna start making loads of other ones as well. Uh, a couple of people have made Captain America, uh, Flash, as I said, Punisher. Uh, I am hoping someone does come out with like a Wolverine. That would be pretty damn sick. Uh, you could do a normal jumpsuit and then the only thing you'd probably have to worry about would be the weapons slash claws But uh, yeah, it's not too bad I'm not gonna lie. There's not a lot to showcase in this build because there's not a, like a weapon or something to go with it or sort of a batarang or something I'm pretty sure you can find those so uh, but Yeah, that's like, all we can do is just sort of like look at it. What's on the belt there? There's not even the texture on the belt. That's a little bit upset and I was hoping for the sort of a batmo the bat mode, the uh, bat utility belt, even an icon that with there would just suffice that. Oh my God. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit me up with a like and a comment. It is much appreciated as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section below as well. Let's have a little chat down there. Very active on the channel. And uh, yeah, guys, but until the next one, I'll see you guys then. Killer Kevin and Killer Kev out.